In this video, you'll learn how to create an NHL expected value betting model that includes dynamic copy and paste odds from the Sharp Sportsbook Pinnacle. Hello everyone, Jonathan here with Excel Help Now. I've got another expected value betting model to go over with everyone. If you've seen my NFL or college football expected value models, some of the feedback I got was there is a lot of manual updating of inputting every single matchup along with each odd for money line spread and total into the model. So I heard that feedback and I am happy to share. I have a really cool drop in copy and paste from Pinnacle logic built out for NHL. And I'll roll this out for basketball season and for NBA and college basketball. And next year I'll incorporate it into to baseball and next college football and NFL season. So just wanted to highlight that. So if you were waiting for it or, um, not one to, to continue the manual inputting process. I understand that that's uh, pretty tedious. And I think I found about the best solution that you're going to get if you're going to do any of this expected value yourself. I think this is going to be really helpful and beneficial. Um, so I just wanted to highlight that. And then I'll dive into the model here and just walk through what all um, is included. And then I'll talk to you some logic. So if you want to create this yourself, you have all the, the tools to do that. Otherwise, um, you can just see if you want to to purchase this, how to utilize it, and how to find some positive EV bets. So with that said, let's give a quick overview. I have a money line, a spread, and a total column uh, tab here. And with the money line, we have our date, our matchup, and then I'm pulling in the money line and converting that to a VIG money line percent value. So this is just a copy and paste from Pinnacle. I'll talk about how we get that in, but just want to say that's there's no manual inputting. This is directly from our Pinnacle copy and paste data. And then we get a big money line percent. And so you can see our total of the Nashville Predators, Tampa Bay Lightning lines right now is 102.9%. So that 2.9% above 100, that's the VIG. That's where the sports books make their, their money. So we need to remove that. We just do that by a proration. So 39.7, 60.3, that totals 100 so this is our fair implied win percentages for this matchup. And then we can convert that percentage to a break-even odds, American odds value, plus 152, minus 152. So we're looking for any sports book that's offering odds that are longer than plus 152 or minus 152. That is EV betting at its core. And I do have over here a market width. So that's looking at how much difference there is between the plus 145 and minus 164. So there's 19 of... Market width there, 32 on the Blackhawks Penguins game. And so this is just helpful to showcase when there's um, more uncertainty with these. So if Pinnacle is less certain on their their lines, they're going to have more disparity between the, the favorite and the underdogs. So this market width is going to be much higher. And for pro sports, there's not a lot of disparity in matchups um, for the most part. And so it, it's not as important. I use 50 as kind of my market width benchmark. Uh, but if you're looking at college basketball or college football, you could have market lists that are hundreds or even a thousand. So that's definitely something that you need to have um, filtered out. So I have this max market width here. So if you make that like 25, it's going to highlight in red saying that this Blackhawks Penguins game, that's 32 market width. That's above our threshold. Let's not bet on that. But again, 50 is a good benchmark. And it's just a way to, to filter out some of those big disparity games where even though the math may say this is a positive EV bet, the reality is there's just too much uncertainty in that matchup and it's best just to avoid it. So that's how the, the money line uh, tab works. We flip over to the spread. We're going to just grab our, our matchups from the money line, grab the handicap values, plus 1.5, minus 1.5, and our spread lines all from our copy and paste values, convert those lines to the VIG percentage, do our removal of VIG to get an implied spread and then get our break-even odds that we'll use for our line shopping. Same look out, same look on the total tab. So over undervalues, the American odds, and then our break-even odds. So that's kind of an overview of the model. And then at the top of each, I have the Kelly criterion. So if we do find a a longer odd, a, a positive EV bet, we plug in the, the team. You know, what the bet type is, the sports book that's offering it, and the odds the sports book is offering to get an optimal bet amount based on our account value and our adjustment factor. So if you pick this model up, you can put in how much 
you have in your bankroll and what adjustment factor you want to use. 0.5 is kind of like the industry standard. You can make that, I would say, anything less than 0.5 just to, um, to be more conservative in your betting. I would not advise going above 0.5. And this is just a way to kind of haircut the implied total percent here. Just, I guess, recognizing that Pinnacle is not perfect. They're going to make errors. And this is just a way to kind of haircut your math here just to say like there is some uncertainty and all this where I'm going to not bet the the full amount and just, you know, kind of preserve some of your bankroll for just, there's going to be times where you're going to have some, some bad variants and there's going to be a lot of bets in a row that kind of go against you. And so this is a way just to, you know, to minimize that impact. So flip over to the drop and tap. So this is where we're just going to copy and paste in our pinnacle. I'll show you how to do that. But the big thing here is if you do this yourself, format any of these cells that you're going to use as your, your drop in to text. So if we do control one, we can bring up our format cells dialog box, make it text. And the reason why you need to do that is because when you copy and paste from pinnacle, it'll recognize this plus 1.5 minus 176 as a formula. And it'll just net those two together. And we don't want that because the plus 1.5 is the spread value and the minus 176 is the odd. So that, that means something to us. Uh, Excel, if just looking at it from a formula perspective, it just means I need to take plus 1.5 minus 176. So make it text. It will not calculate any formulas. So that's kind of the, the big takeaway if you want to build this model yourself or if you pick this up. So that is how uh, the model structured. And again, I think this is going to show, I'll showcase how much time this really does save and how I think this is a really important model if you want to do EV betting and not have to pay for a subscription service and be able to do it yourself. I think having a, the model look like how I have it here is probably about as, as clean and as effective and efficient as you're going to, you're going to get. So let's go, let's go over to Pinnacle. Let's see what we can get as far as bets. So Pinnacle, uh, sorry, Pinnacle pulled up here. This is considered the sharpest sports book in the world. And so unfortunately, if you live in the US, if you go to this join tab, you're going to get this geolocation block location. And so we're not able to, and I don't know internationally what, if you are able to, to log into Pinnacle, I'm assuming you can get some, a cleaner way of getting the odds, but just want to say like, that is kind of the roadblock. If you're in the US and trying to do EV betting and use Pinnacle as your, your sports book, the source of truth it's kind of behind a geo wall. And so that's why uh, you can't just easily copy and paste these values in. Uh, but what you can do is you can copy it all the way down from grab the starting at the Nashville predators and copy down to this plus 15, do control C to grab it. And then we'll go to the drop in over here and control V. And so you can see this is where I said, it just doesn't copy in very cleanly. It's going to just put everything in the stacked column and then do this control and do match destination formatting just to make sure that we don't override that text format cells value. And so now you can see it just combines all the handicap and total values. And it just, it's not really easy to, to just, okay, I can just drop, drop this into a table and run with it. But I have some index matching going on here where uh, the model does kind of reformat and scrub all that, that data. So it is just a copy and paste. So everything is just going to be dependent on this matchup column here. So that's just going to be a, a drop down of the the matchups, and you'll just select the matchup. So if we go back, it's National Predators, Tampa Bay Lightning as our first matchup. So just go ahead and drop down Predators, Tampa Bay Lightning, and you can see the values are all starting to populate. And then we had the Blackhawks. And the Penguins is our second matchup, and the Kraken and the Golden Knights as the final one. So we have that's all you have to do as far as like manual inputting goes. So now we have our money line spreads brought in dynamically as well, and our totals. So you can do this once, and then tomorrow or later on in the day, you could just recopy in the data. You don't even have to mess with that matchup because the va values are already in, and it's going to bring in updated lines. If you have, you know, let's say we're in the middle of the season, so we have slated games tonight, slated games tomorrow, just recopy it. You can clear out all this, recopy in the new day's data, 
drop down your matchups and then you're off and running. So really simple, much easier than how I had it built out in the, the football EV bets. And so now we have our money lines from, from Pinnacle and then we convert those to percentages, back out the VIG to get our implied win percentage. And then here's our break even odds, plus 152, minus 152. So this is what we use for our line shopping. And for that, I like to use Sportsbook Review, really clean looking table. So this is ideally what we'd be able to get from Pinnacle is just be able to copy and paste some type of table or export it and be able to just drop that into Excel. But like I said, it's kind of behind this geo wall and we have to do some, yeah, some magic with Excel to get it in a, a nice clean format. So let's see if we have any EV bets. We're looking for plus 152, minus 152. We have a plus 152 on FanDuel, so that's at break even. So that is basically a a fair bet, um, not not positive expected value, but at least you know, break even. Everything else is uh, not longer odds, so not bets you'd want to place. And the second matchup, the Blackhawks Penguins, we're looking at plus one ninety six as our best line from Caesars and minus two twenty from points bet. And you can see that not longer than either one of the plus 208, minus 208. And so I'm in Iowa, so these are the, the main sports books offered in Iowa. So yours could look different depending on where you're located in the, the U.S. And then Seattle, Vegas, plus 152, minus 169. And again, we do not have longer odds. So I'll use this, I'll use this plus uh, 140 as an example. Um, so plus 140, we plug that in up here says it's no bet and so the sports book i guess in that case that plus 140 that was bet mgm so bet mgm is saying there is a 41.67 percent chance of the nashville predators beating the tampa bay lightning and we're saying that there is only a 39.7 percent chance and so Whenever you have a favorite, your odds are going to be lower. You're going to get less of a payout. So what you're looking for is actually when plus 155 or so. So there we have the sports book saying that there's only a 39.22% chance of the Predators winning when we're saying they actually have a 39.7% chance. So you're looking for when the implied win percentage here is greater than what the sports book saying. So this, they're saying this is more of an underdog, so they're going to have longer odds. You're going to get paid out more because the odds are are longer. So that is how EV betting works. So if they, if they would have offered plus 155, we're saying that the break-even odds were plus 152. So longer odds by the sports book. That is how you have EV bets. So using the Kelly criterion, you'd have a $3.59 bet on that offering, assuming that it was actually available. Like I said, it, unfortunately, we didn't have any EV bets on the money line side. We'll flip over to spread. We'll run through that as well. So we have our handicap values, plus 1.5, minus 1.5 for each one of the matchups, and our spread line and our break even on. So minus 162, plus 162 for the Predators Lightning. Flip over here to the spread side. Minus 162, plus 162. I'm not seeing anything there. And then we can flip back to the Penguins, minus 117, plus 117. No, close on FanDuel, but the plus 116, but still not longer odds. And then on the last matchup, minus 158, plus 158. Uh, nothing there either. So this is the first you know, slate of games for the season. So, um, And there's only three games. So there's not always going to be EV bets, but having a model that's super quick to, to update, you can run through this several times over the next day and a half leading up to these games and you know there's going to be times where it is going to show up or if you run this now and you have different sports books maybe there is an ev bet waiting there for you so on the total side plus 112 minus 112 you can just look at the, the blue highlights to see if any of those nope and then the chicago pittsburgh minus 115 and plus 102 is our best nope and then we'll go to the crack and golden knights we're looking for minus 109 plus 109 and that's at a six. So make sure you look at the value over here because this is what the pinnacle odds are based on. So you can see most of these are at six. So we're looking for minus 109 plus 109, nothing there. And so we'll use this as an example. So MGM, Caesars, PointsBet, BetRivers all have the, the total on the 
Seattle Vegas at six. You can see FanDuel has it at 6.5 and Pinnacle had it at six. So what you can do is if you want to just kind of evaluate this FanDuel offering by itself, you can go back to Pinnacle and we can change this toggle to 6.5. And you can see the odds are plus 105 at minus 122. The plus 105, minus 122, you can just overwrite the formulas and you get plus 113, minus 113. And you can see those are still not EV bets. So that's just a way if you want to kind of run the full slate, if you do see different totals or the spread values, maybe they're they're different. I guess Bat Rivers had minus plus and minus one versus the 1.5. So it is, you know, that'd be a manual thing. And then you could just undo it or just drag down the formula just to re-preserve it after you you look at that specific matchup. So that's just something where if you want to you know, evaluate something that doesn't match up with how Pinnacle's valuing the spreads or total, that's how you would do it. If you want to do it as, you know, as quick as possible and not do any manual intervention, then I would just disregard in those sports books that are kind of showing anomalies for different values than the majority are going to. So that's how to, to do an EV bet and do some line shopping. Again, unfortunately, no... Uh, EV bets right now. Uh, that FanDuel one on the money line was at plus 152. So that was like a break even bet for the Predators. But besides that, there is nothing to, to bet on right now. But again, you have a, a really easy way to drop in the, the odds. You could do this you know, every couple hours or whenever, you know, whatever your time and schedule permits. But um, just want to highlight that's how it works. And then the Kelly criterion I have up here. So that's just the probability of winning times the decimal odds of the sports book, minus one divided by the decimal odds of the sports book, minus one times your bankroll times your adjustment factor. That's just the standard Kelly criterion. And so I just had the math kind of split out. So if you do pick up this model, you can just see it all work out and then you'll have the exact bet amount to place based on what odds are being offered. So if it's a Positive EV bet, it'll give you the wager amount based on your account value and your adjustment factor. And then you have the market width criteria there to filter out any market width opportunities that are above your threshold. So hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully it gets you excited too. So like I said, I'm going to have this available for any future EV betting model. This is this exact model is available for purchase on my Etsy page. It includes a a bet tracker with a nice clean dashboard as well. So you can filter out your bets by sport, by sports book, by odds, um, by different betting prop types, um, spread, total, parlay, arbitrage, however you, you like to do your betting. So I just want to say this is all available on my Etsy page, link in the description. Otherwise, I think you have enough to run. If you want to make this yourself, you know, flip through, you know, take pauses in the video and be able to, to grab the, the formulas that you want. If you want to do this yourself, Otherwise, thanks for watching and God bless.